So we're going to talk a little bit about one of the key capabilities that we find in Open Enterprise Server. It's something called iFolder. Now iFolder is a great file synchronization system. iFolder itself has this great ability to allow you to store a directory that might be on your PC. And maybe I want this particular directory to be synchronized with the iFolder store. So I install the client component and I turn this folder now into an iFolder directory. When I do that, the iFolder then gets placed in the iFolder space through the basic synchronization between the client and this data center based uh, iFolder server. And now we've synced it. I can also go back and as I'm uh, working with these files, I make updates, etc., it keeps the information on my local drive in sync with what's in this space. Nice advantage here is that let's assume that for one thing, maybe I've lost this computer and I get a new computer and I have to put it in. Now I reinstall the client, the folder that's up here is then pushed back down to my device and resynchronized in that space. Another thing is maybe I just want to migrate, so I take this, pull it off, get a brand new piece of equipment, do the same thing, just as if maybe it had been lost, but now I'm really just upgrading. Another key feature of this is that this is my primary storage for the data that I'm using, but maybe I work at home too and I'd like to be able to do that. So now I can install the client and begin to synchronize this same folder in my home office. So now I've got this folder replicated and available to me at my home office PC. As I make changes here, it then gets synced back to my home office, or if I make changes at home at night, and save it away, it gets synced back up to my other device, or if I happen to be on the road, depending on what I'm doing. It's also independent of operating systems, so this could be a Windows box, it could be a Linux box, or it could be a Macintosh. The client runs on all of these platforms, so it gives you the ability to be platform independent. So now I can actually synchronize to a, let's assume it's a Mac notebook at this point. Now that file or that uh, folder that I've created is, is made available to that space, so it's in place. I also have the ability to access these files, whether I, whether I have my uh, mobile device or, or I'm on a tethered device, I can actually go outside the network, maybe I'm away and I need to see a file that's in there. I have the ability to access this same store through a web browser. At this point, once I know that I'm there, that directory is made available to me here, and, and I can see files that are in that space. Works perfectly well. Now there's another aspect of this that's really interesting and important, and that is I can create another iFolder share. Let's just say I'm going to create an iFolder share, and I want more than just me to be able to see the information here. So I've created this iFolder share. By the way, since I'm here, it now shows it up in here. It's also available to me on my home office if I have a Macintosh, I'm over there. And it's also available up in that space. Nice thing there is you can see that the minute I turn it on, all the other devices that are connected are available. Now I want to add somebody to the list of people that can see this. And maybe it's Bob. So Bob's down here and I want to add Bob to it. So I can give Bob access rights. This system, as long as he has that client turned in, presents him with the opportunity to subscribe to the share that I've given to him. Once he accepts that share, Bob actually then gets that directory and all the contents of that directory is synced down to him. Now, you can see all of these places begin to get synchronized together. Really great. Bob, by the way, can also have his own iShares or iFolders, so he can share these things as he wants to, and they would also be stored up on this in this space. And if he chose to share one of those things back with me for some of for whatever reason, and didn't want to put it in this folder, maybe it's for something else, it would be possible. But this could go on multiple clients, multiple people connected to this, and that's one of the real key benefits of this. It doesn't matter where you are, so you can use it as a backup and recovery solution. You can use it on multiple operating systems, multiple workstations, obviously different users, and, and it's great because it's a user-managed file sharing system.